Uh, so a little hypothetical before we get to our final clip this week. Um, I'm just curious more than anything because of you and, and your stature in the business and your knowledge. You know, if Vince were to come to you during this time, because it does feel like he's just kind of like trying stuff like, OK, well, Diesel was champion and eh, that didn't really work. OK, let's put it back on Brett. Let's see if this Mabel guy has some potential. OK, that's not working. We'll give it to Sean. So like he's just kind of feeling things out to see what direction he's going to move in post Hulk Hogan. So if Vince had come to you during this time and said, hey, Ted, I'd love your opinion. Like, who do you think is the champion? Who, who, who's my marquee guy that I need to put all my juice behind? Uh, well, you know, Brett, Brett, because Brett, you know, Brett would be in contention for for sure because we came from the same psychology of wrestling, so to speak. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, yeah, you know, not not all the gimmicks and and everything, but two guys who went out there and and used used their talent and had a match where you're in and out of holes and you get heat and you make comebacks and and you and you build it and you build a story to a, a crescendo, you know. And a lot of people that you know uh, Vince put in the ring didn't have the ability to do that. And of course, but that but again, you know, I'm trying to look at it through. Vince's eyes. Vince is trying to create something that's in a, it, it's it supports entertainment, and it's almost it's almost like going to a circus. Mm-hmm. You got a little something for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and and that's what's interesting about this era is like, yep, Bret Hart. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to argue like he's the guy in the ring. Like, there's the, on the face of the planet, there's probably nobody better during that time than Bret Hart. Yeah. Um, but that being said, it's that's not really what Vince is selling anymore. Like, he's trying to sell entertainment, and like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's hard to make a choice among the the roster that's there at the time of who to who you'd want to make your champion. Yeah, well, and that's just it. It's. It's old school versus whatever, you know, the, you know, and again, uh, you know, I, I didn't always agree with what Vince did. And, and Vince even said that he says, you, we can agree to disagree. He says, and he says, but he says, if you don't agree with something, tell me what, tell me what we could do that would, would be better. And, and that, 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 that was it. It was, I, I grew up in the, I grew up in the, in one era. I grew up when, when wrestling was still, you know, like um, wrestling, you know, and now, you know, Vince is, is almost like making it a cartoon, mm-hmm. you know, and I didn't like that, you know, but I mean, again, you know, from where I sit today and I realize what in fact he was doing and now it's like, you know, you got, you've got, wrestling video games and wrestling action figures and and all of this merchandise uh toys uh that kids can buy he he was he was marketing the marketing to a younger crowd yep like it like it or not he he turned it into like pop culture yeah and and you know what he was successful and so uh, again (laughs) um you know, kudos to him. I mean, I mean, I'm grateful, uh, grateful, grateful, grateful because if it hadn't been for Vince, I mean, I was, you know, uh, you know, he put in me this character, uh, envisioned this character for me that, you know, I took it and ran with it. And, uh, you know, uh, again, I'm one of those guys benefiting. Uh, I get a quarter, I get a quarterly royalties check from the WWE for merchandise sales and video games and all that stuff. And, and I'll just keep getting that. Well, thank you. Thank you, Vince. You know, uh, but again, it's just like, it was just kind of like, uh, because I, I, I grew up in the business, uh, you know, uh, and watched my dad and how it was then. And, 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 and how I, I saw it going forward. It's like, you know, I put, I put the monkey suit on uh, to be the million dollar man. I cut the interviews and I was the main, but when I got in the ring and took the suit off, I wrestled exactly like I was, I had always wrestled. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, uh, you know, I, it's easier for me to see what Vince was doing then from where I am now than, than I could see it when I was there. 
And obviously, you know, the way that things turned out, the million dollar man is is your legacy, uh, which is which is awesome. It is kind of fun to hypothetically kind of think of like, what if Black Gloved Ted had been brought into <laughs> the WWF? As, man, could have been a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs>